dogs were uh, were going into their full pregnancies, and instead of a a normal litter of babies, we were having they would deliver bags of water, or they wouldn't do anything. And as we worked our way through this, we we found through word of mouth and media coverage another 25 farmers in five states that had exactly the same problems. Our whole problem was the fact that we were not getting sows pregnant. It wasn't just us, but there was a lot of people in the area that, that had the same problem. Um, so we uh, figured out that uh, everybody was feeding the same seed corn. We've had trouble with conception rates. We did testing, did everything, nothing worked. We're finding out it's traced clear back to the seed corn. It makes you wonder with the genetic modified stuff, what we're finding out now with it, and we're just touching the tip of the iceberg, I think. I had one gentleman in Nebraska. He was feeding the BT corn to the sows, and he had trouble with the conception of that group of sows. He switched away from using that BT corn, and the problem went away.